Good morning, my name is Lindsay Hall and I'm a product manager on the distal extremities team and I'm going to be giving you an update on the foot and ankle uh, products and what's new for sports surgeons. I'm going to quickly give you an overview of who is distal extremities and give you a quick look at some of our product highlights for 2014 and then we'll jump into a closer look of the five DEX products for your sports practice before I turn it over to your peers for a peer perspective on some of our most innovative surgical solutions for 2014, which include the ankle instability with internal brace ligament repair system and the mid-substance Achilles ruptures with the Achilles mid-substance speed bridge. So the distal extremities team is the team responsible for developing and marketing the foot and ankle hand and wrist portfolio, and we remain one of the top growing segments of Arthrex. Just to give you a snapshot of what we did last year, and what we have currently going on this year. Um, last year we released 25 projects within our team that included over 234 parts. Currently we have 24 active projects ongoing today. Um, some of our key product launches in 2014 fall in a couple of different categories. For example, in the hardware category, we recently released our ankle fusion plating system to help surgeons treat their patients with ankle arthritis better. We also are doing more and more into fracture management, and this year we released our Jones Fracture and Calc Fracture plating systems, but it was our um, compression FT screws that really stole the show, and we're seeing those uh, show up in not only the foot and ankle and the hand and wrist, but also in the knee and the elbow like you see on the x-ray on the screen. But we continue to make innovations and strides within the soft tissue segment. And this year we released the uh, deltoid reconstruction kit, which combines an allograft and the soft tissue tightrope um, for surgeons helping them treat patients with delt for deltoid reconstruction. But the top five DX products for sports surgeons that might be of more interest to you include our ankle fracture plating system, the ankle tightrope, our distal radius plating system, our Achilles mid-substance speed bridge, and then the internal brace ligament augmentation repair. Many of you um, may not even know that we have these products available, but they are available um, even though you may not teach or educate for us on these products, and they can all be um, utilized or worked into your practice by contacting your same sales Arthrex consultant. Taking a little bit of a closer look at our ankle fracture system, we have our third tubular plates, our straight plates, our distal fibular plates, as well as our medial and lateral hook plates, all designed within one system. This allows you to have the confidence you need at the time of surgery that everything that you need is contained within this one tray. If you might be on call for that, that case over the weekend, um, you'll have the confidence that all the instruments and plates solutions are available for you at that time. We also have um, designed these plates to have percutaneous tapered ends, locking and non-locking screw capabilities, aiming guides, and an overall low profile plate. But we really have paid cl close attention to designing our system to accommodate the ankle tightrope. You can see that we have put cutouts in our plates so that allows you to properly position the drill bit in a great angle for you to drill for the syndesmosis fixation. We've also included scallops so that if you had to place um, another tightrope outside of the plate, you could place divergent tightropes um, and just nestle that up close to the plate as you see in the picture. And then we've included chamfers to center the tightrope button over the hole, which allows that tightrope button to sit lower into the plate um, and create a very nice low profile construct. So we see a couple of complications sometimes when surgeons try to combine the tightrope with another competitive system that wasn't designed to incorporate this tightrope button. Here are a couple examples that you see with the Synthes plate. As you can see how proud that button sits up on the plate and then in the x-ray below that, you can see how the button then has slid off to the side of the plate, placing the fiber wire suture on the edge of the metal plate, which then could compromise the fiber wire over time. You'll see another example of a star-shaped design as well um, in the Smith and Nephew plates, which then again places that fiber wire very close to those pointed jagged edges, again, that could compromise the suture. Speaking of complications, we still continue to hear and see complications related to screw and heart screw failure um, in 2015. Um, we continue to deal with this type of complications when treating the syndesmosis. 
um, but all that can be eliminated with the ankle tightrope. You would eliminate diastasis or broken screws, loosening screws, heterotrophic ossification, and the painful broken screw. All of these complications related to screws are unnecessary when products like the ankle tightrope help uh, minimize and reduce these complications in patients. The ankle tightrope, many of you are already familiar with this technique as you might be using tightrope technology in the shoulder or the knee. The technique is very simple and reproducible. Um, there are scientifically proven to have less malreduction and obviously eliminate those broken screw complications. It's biomechanically stronger than screws and there's no need for removal. And what we're most proud of is the 10-year clinical success that we have with the ankle tightrope and now 19 proven scientific uh, published studies speaking to the advantages of the ankle tightrope. Staying within the fracture management um, segment, we did release our distal radius plating system this year. It is a comprehensive plating system, very similar to ankle fracture, how everything you have, um, everything that you need is contained in one tray. It's anatomically contoured for best reduction and it has multiple screw and trajectory options to capture the fragments. You can see that the plate sits just proximal to the watershed line and it has a very highly tapered and contoured distal edge which will reduce tendon irritation, captures those most distal fragments and anatomically reduces the fracture. Looking forward, we are adding a fracture specific module which includes radial styloid plates, a dorsal plate, a distal rim plate, and a spanning plate. And we're doing this in order to give you all the solutions that you need in order to fix any fracture. And we'll be releasing this and providing more information around the Academy of 2015. Another um, sports injury that we see sports surgeons holding on to uh, more are Achilles Achilles injuries, and um, many of those are treated doing an open um, type of repair with a Krakow suture. Um, we do have the PAR system, which allows just a small transverse incision where the jig is in, uh, inserted into the, um, under the skin, and then a uh, fiber wire suture is passed to create locking stitches within the Achilles tendon. You can see the Krakow stitch requires a much larger incision than the PARS, which just includes a small uh, per percutaneous transverse incision that Dr. McWilliam will share with, share with you um, in just a few minutes. We've, continu we've continued to make innovations in treating Achilles repairs, and our latest um, technique with the Achilles is our Achilles mid-substance speed bridge. This combines the benefits of the PARS, which we just showed you, along with the speed bridge. Um, this is a knotless repair, so after the small transverse incision is made and the jig is inserted and the proximal portion of the Achilles is secured with the fiber wire, um, then a small lasso will be inserted through the distal portion of the Achilles to capture the uh, sutures, and then they'll just be pulled back through the Achilles, that distal stump, as you see in the animation, and then they'll be anchored into the bone with swivel locks. So it's a knotless repair of tendon to bone fixation combining fiber wire and swivel lock technology. It's stronger than the current Krakow um, solution that some surgeons may be uh, using. It's percutaneous and it definitely has um, less wound complications associated with this type of repair. Still staying within soft tissue, um, I wanna switch gears a little bit and give you a preview to the internal brace, which Dr. Uh, Mackay will share more in detail with you in just a moment. But it was two and a half years ago, Dr. Mackay approached Arthrex um, needing a better solution to help his players get back to sport faster from lateral ankle instability. With over 30,000 ankle sprains a day and 10% of those requiring surgical treatment, he needed a better solution. And so Arthrex, did, in combination with Dr. Mackay, um, brought the internal brace to life to help treat these patients better. Um, it was the biomechanical support of Dr. Tom Clanton from the American Journal of Sports Medicine helped give some backup and credibility to the overall repair and the strength of the internal brace and the role that it can play um, when comparing it to the native uh, tissue and then the Brostrom type of repair with just suture anchors. So the native ATFL um, is 150 newtons. 
the Brostrom repair with just suture anchors is 75 newtons, but when combined with the internal brace, it exceeds that of the native repair and um, is 250 newtons. So it adds significant strength to the total repair of the uh, lateral ligament. And last month in December, we were able to have 2,000 patients treated alone in the foot and ankle with the internal brace. So we can see that from the evolution of two and a half years ago to today that many patients are receiving the benefits of the internal brace. Some, some surgeons were hesitant to jump on board with the internal brace thinking that their brostrum repairs were doing well um, and maybe a little hesitant um, to add this construct for, for fear that it was a new uh, technology. But really, when we go back and look, Arthrex has a proven track record of over 10 years with swivel lock and fiber tape technology that originated back to the suture bridge. And then the suture bridge um, evolved into the speed bridge, replacing the fiber wire to fiber tape and going to a knotless repair. It was the speed bridge that then um, put us into the internal brace into the lateral ankle, which then has led to the Achilles mid-substance speed bridge, which we just reviewed. And now the internal brace can be used for spring ligament, deltoid ligament, and also in the elbow. So you can see that this track record of fiber tape and uh, swivel lock technology is not something new, but does come with a very proven and strong historical uh, track record. Here's a video showing the impacts and the benefits of the internal brace. This was a video sent in by Chris Kotsia of a senior captain, Minnesota Gopher football player. This video um, shows him doing cutting drills seven weeks uh, to the day that he had uh, bilateral internal braces done on his ankles. Uh, the trainer was so impressed that he was doing these cutting drills at seven weeks that he had to take this video and send it to Chris Kotsia. In closing, this is um, the video of the same player four months post-op who um, on October 16th won the Defensive Player of the Week in the Big Ten by having two interceptions and one of those being game clinching. Take a look. With a beauty there, Cedric Thompson, his second interception of the game. He walks a bunch. Is it picked? It is! We feel the internal brace is a tremendous way to help you get your patients back to their pre-injury um, condition. And we appreciate your support and hope that you will find um, some of the distal extremity solutions valuable to your practice in 2015. Thank you.